they've, they've both been in football long enough now to, to understand that and, and respectfully that, that it was going to be a little bit um, hostile at times. But in the right way, I thought I thought the fans were really respectful with it. Um, I thought that they both handled the, the, the atmosphere, as, as did the whole team. Um, we tried to speak about, you know, it's gonna, you know, it's gonna be, it's gonna be um, high tempo for everyone, not just, not just uh, Deck and and Jack. And but I thought, you know, obviously it, it's great for them too that they've scored the goals, um, but more importantly that the team's won and, and they've kept a clean sheet. Okay, so how does Cars Ball differ? to England under Southgate. Well, comparing last night's performance to England's group games at the Euros, they had more shots and created more chances. There were fewer long passes, but more touches in the box, more forward passes, and they won more duels too. Well, particularly the first half, um, I thought that they, they, they really got out of the traps and, and asked questions early on uh, to Ireland. Um, you know, he, he actually delivered what he said he was going to do, Lee Carsley, by you know, trying to get uh, more effective front players on the ball, which he did. I think what, what impressed me more so is that I've seen a lot more movement than what I've seen um, under, under Gareth, really, to be quite honest, in that forward line, as in, you know, the likes of Saka coming inside, the full-backs pushing on. I think we've got the likes of Bellingham, Foden to come back into the equation. Gordon had a very good game. Uh, Jack was brilliant uh, in the game. And all of a sudden, I'm starting to like what I'm seeing. It's, it's, it's a watchable thing, which I think all the fans and mm -hmm. all of us that sit and watch the England games, we want that excitement. We do. Uh, we see it a lot in club football, but Declan Rice's goal may have been the first time in an international that a player hasn't celebrated against his old team, though Grealish didn't hold back. Rice explained his decision and revealed he's only just feeling near to his best. To come here today and you know, just to play, um, enjoy that environment. You know, I really, really enjoyed it. And uh, to score and obviously get an assist for Jack as well, I was, I was really, really happy. To be honest with you, I've not been feeling 100% uh, fit so far. Kind of been using my Premier, uh, my pre-season in the Premier League. Um, but today I feel like I took a real step. I could feel it within myself. I was feeling back to myself, um, being feeling springy, you know, feeling like I can run around the pitch. Uh, feeling more powerful. My nan and granddad, uh, my dad's side of the family are all Irish. They're obviously passed away, they're not here anymore. So I think to, cel to have celebrated it would have been really disrespectful of me with them obviously not being here anymore and uh, with them being my dad's parents. Um, I didn't want to do that, to be honest with you. Obviously, I had such an amazing time playing for Ireland, um, even in the first team, the under-19s, 21s. You know, they were great memories that live with me. Um, so, look, I don't have a bad word to say, to be honest with you. I, I wish them all the best, like I always do with anyone. And, um, yeah, Harry Kane obviously tried to, to give me the armband, but obviously Stones is probably more senior and experienced than me. And, um, yeah, I just said to Harry, probably John deserves it more than me. So. I said to give to John and yeah, that was it. It doesn't need to be made into a, a bigger thing. I think John's one of the more senior ones and usually he's captain when H don't play. So I think it was the right decision. So last night's other goal scorer, Jack Grealish, who you'll remember missed out on a place at the Euros, posted this on Instagram after the match. He said, felt so good to be back playing in an England shirt. Perfect start in the Nations League. Yeah, so a very promising start for Carsley, who's expected to be in charge for all five of England's Nations League games through the autumn as he auditions, basically, on a, a full-time basis for that role. Uh, as he previously confirmed, Carsley didn't sing the national anthem and said that the debate surrounding his decision has not affected him. It's definitely not affected my day or my preparations. I, I, I found out about it this morning. Um, you know, I fully respect people's opinions. Um, it's, it's something that I've, I've never done, um, but I fully respect the, the, the both national anthems. Um, today would be probably one of the proudest days of my career, um, to lead an England team out in Dublin. Um, you know, you definitely couldn't have writ it. Um, but, you know, I don't, um, I don't feel hard done by or aggrieved. I would never judge anyone for doing, you know, sing, singing or not. Um, you know, I had... Um, a great experience when I played for the Republic of Ireland um, and I'm, I'm having a, a really good experience now in terms of the um, the, um, the responsibility that I've got of, of, of being head coach in trim for the for the senior team so I think I think you've probably got to accept that you know with that does come a bit of bit of judgment. I know he played 40 times obviously for Ireland um, obviously that meant a lot to him in his career and now he's England manager obviously I can't call for what um, he wants to do. All I know is that 
from us, from a set of lads. We've been so impressed with him this week. He's been so refreshing. Um, his meetings have been top, really to the point, and the way we play and train is really different. So look, I think all the lads are really, really happy with him. Obviously, we had such an amazing time with Gareth. Some of the best memories that we probably could ever imagine for. Um, only thing was missing was obviously we didn't win a trophy in our time, but obviously with Lee now, I think he's adapted so well to the job. and. I think he's given a lot of lads, you know, a lot of confidence to go out and play. And look at Jack today, you know, I think Jack's best when he's got like an arm around him and he's told how good he is. And I think Lee's done that this week. And Jack today went out there and when Jack's playing with personality and confidence, you know, he's one of the best players in the world. And I think that's what Lee's going to keep bringing to this team. So we need to be positive and yeah, I think we will going forward. So Carsley handed senior debuts then to Angel Gomez and Morgan Gibbs-White, who came off the bench in the second half. Both players won the European Championship at under-21 level with Carsley last year. And Gomez has described it as a dream come true. He's hoping to kick on in his senior England career. Unreal. Um, can't put it into words, really. You know, um, it's the local lad from Salford. Just made his debut for England, so that's, there's, there's not much to say from that. Just the differences, obviously different players and, you know, um, got to kind of pinch yourself sometimes to realise how lucky you are to be playing with some of the players that you're playing with on the pitch, you know, and they make it easier for you, so it's really easy to, to settle in and play. You've made it clear this has to be the start of things for you. It's not a one-off, is it? No, um, for sure it's not, you know, I'm, I'm eager for more, you know. Um, I can say it's just the beginning and I'm hoping to you know, really kick on and be able to, to show myself as much as possible. Well, it was also a new start for the Republic of Ireland under Hamir Holgrimson. They faced Greece in Dublin on Tuesday, who won their opening game 3-0 against Finland. The Ireland head coach says his side can learn from that defeat. We've played a good team, really good team. Uh, they exposed our weakness. So we can use a lot from this game, you know, not take, talking about all the negatives. We can show them, or we can do this better, you know, because we didn't do this, this happened, etc. So I think, for one, it gives us an opportunity to, to look at what we are doing. But I think we can, we can learn from this, grow from this, and improve step by step from what we were doing, instead of changing personnel or changing formations next game.